Hello, and welcome to AdGene, where we offer a better way to share plasmids. In this instructional video, we will walk you through the MTA approval process for ordering through AdGene. AdGene requires an MTA for each order. The Material Transfer Agreement, or MTA, is needed by many institutions before materials can be shared. MTAs might include terms like the intellectual property rights of a providing or receiving institution, their legal liability, and their use of the materials. AdGene uses the Uniform Biological Materials Transfer Agreement, or UBMTA, because it is a widely accepted MTA, both in the U.S. and internationally. After you place your order with AdGene, you will need to complete a recipient scientist acknowledgement and then have your institution sign the MTA before we can prepare your order. We have streamlined this process and will walk you through each step to make it quick and easy. Once you have placed your order on our website, you will receive an emailed confirmation of your order along with your AdGene order number. You can use this number as reference for any questions or requests you may have about your order. Along with this email, you will receive a link to your order status page. Here you can check up on the status of your MTA. On this page, you must complete Step 1 and, if applicable, Step 2 before your MTA will be available. Step 1 is the Recipient Scientist Acknowledgement. The scientist receiving and using the materials, or in some cases, the principal investigator, will need to complete this quick online form to acknowledge the terms of the MTA. Under Step 2, some organizations require you to complete an internal institutional form before they can approve your MTA. Unless otherwise indicated, these forms must be submitted directly to your institution. Once Steps 1 and 2 are complete, we will then send your MTA to your institution's MTA coordinator. This is usually someone in your technology transfer or legal office. If we do not have an MTA coordinator on file for your institution, we will send your MTA directly to you. You can then print out your MTA, have it signed by an authorized representative at your institution, and return the signed MTA to AdGene. Please read the cover page of your MTA for more detailed instructions. The faster your MTA is approved, the sooner we can ship your order. To learn how your tech transfer office can speed up this process for you, please click here. After you submit your signed MTA to AdGene, we will promptly review it and let you know if your MTA has been approved or if it requires further action. Following MTA approval, your order will process in our lab for two to three business days. Plasmids from AdGene are sent as bacterial stabs, which take time to grow before they are shipped out. When your order ships, we will send you a shipping confirmation email along with your UPS tracking number. Orders from AdGene are shipped overnight to organizations in the U.S. and through UPS Worldwide Express to organizations outside of the U.S. Frequently Asked Questions Who is authorized to sign the MTA? Authorized representatives vary from institution to institution. The MTA should be signed by a person who is authorized to approve legal documents on behalf of your entire organization. For most institutions, this person would be in the Technology Transfer, Research, or Legal Department. For institutions that do not have these departments, a Dean or Department Head may be authorized to sign the MTA. If you are unsure who should sign your MTA, we recommend that you check with a member of your organization's administration. Why might my MTA submission require further action by me? There are three main reasons why an MTA submission would not be accepted. Number one, an unauthorized signatory. If we cannot verify that the signatory listed on the MTA is authorized, we will ask you to confirm this person's status or to forward the MTA to the proper person. Number two, content is illegible or missing. All terms included on the MTA's implementing letters must be legible in order for the document to be approved. If any text is cut off or blurry or pages are missing, we will not be able to accept your submission. Number three, content is modified. If content in the submitted MTA varies from the information in our records, we will ask you to verify which information is correct. We can then make modifications to the names or addresses on your MTA and send you a corrected copy. Please note that Adjun cannot modify the terms of the UBMTA. Do I need a new MTA for every order or can I reuse a previous Adjun MTA? Each order requires a new MTA this is because each MTA is unique to the plasmids requested 
and lists specific information about the recipient, including the name and address of his or her institution. If the same plasmids are being requested by the same lab as a previous order, we can process a reshipment and apply your original MTA. In this case, please email us at help at adgene.org and provide the original order number and the catalog numbers of the items you need reshipped. For further information, please reference our FAQ page at adgene.org slash FAQ. Thank you for choosing Adgene, a better way to share plasmids.